Welcome to Yep Yeah Yes with Marissa and Tamika. I am your co-host Tamika alongside virtually social distancing with my friend Marissa, co-host Marissa. Hello. Marissa, how are you? Fantastic. How are you? Good, good. You having a good week? Things social yeah. distancing and distancing socially. This the last week of school yet? No, that's not gonna be until June nineteenth. Oh, it's like the college kids are, are done. Yeah. Yeah, they always finish early. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, today I wanted to um, talk about friendship goals. What, what made me think about it was, um, so I've been watching this Michael Jordan documentary called The Last Dance. And it's, it's been really good. It, it ended last week. It's every Sunday, two episodes for, for the last five weeks. And basically chronicles the very last season of the Chicago Bulls um, championship run, run back in 1998. And what's interesting to me is like how the players discuss their relationships, how people back then and how they discuss it now that is 20 something years later. Um, right. But what really got me going was um, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, like they were the Batman and Robin of the team. And Scottie Pippen used to be married to, <coughs> excuse me, to uh, Larsa Pippen. And if you remember, like a year ago or so, Larsa was like throwing shade at Jordan. What's her name? Jordan. Sparks? No, that's the singer. Oh my God. Woods. Woods, yeah. Jordan Woods. Because she supposedly was messing with Tristan, not sexually, but inappropriately. Right, right. I remember. So then now she's back in the news again because she she's throwing shade at Scotty because she was like, he um she's like, I he's always been this person. He's always had dirty laundry. I just got sick of doing his laundry. So then all of a sudden all these people are like going after her, like you're the mouthpiece for the Kardashians, you're this, that, and the other. So it made me start thinking about friendship goals. Um, that, I mean, obviously you always think about friendship goals. We tag it, we use it as a hashtag in our um, podcast clips every week. Um, right. But she really is like riding hard for them. For the Cardassians? Like she, oh, she always seemed to be riding hard for them, but all of their friends do. And yeah. is, is that, is that, are they friendship goals? Are their friends friendship goals? Do you, is it, does it make sense to have a friend that, kind of rides for you in that way. Well, why wouldn't you want a friend that's riding for you though? And hard, you know, like, why not? I is mean, that, is that the goal is for a friend to, to ride for you in that manner, like to get involved in things that they have nothing to do with publicly or not? Like, I guess on a smaller scale, we can talk about like, like our scale, our scale. And, and when I say our, I mean everyday people that are not famous. Well, but, mean, even, but, but wait, does it, is it the same thing as like, okay, we're not famous, but say two regular people get in an argument and um, the friend starts attacking the other person that was their friend. Isn't that the same thing? No, but you don't need to be doing that. You're a grown ass woman. Like, so, so, so here's, here's the thing about friendship. You want somebody that's riding for you. You know what I mean? Like whether you're there or not, you want somebody that's like got your back, right? But at the same time, you got to be a grown ass woman. So how stupid are you? You get not like, because obviously amongst our friends, we're famous, right? Everybody's famous amongst their friends, right? You're well known oh, yeah. amongst, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you're well known amongst your friends. So if I'm fighting with a friend and you're getting on social media, being dirty about it, grow the fuck up. It's just an immature way to handle something, um, whether they're writing for them or not. But at the same time, it's one of those things where, it just seems a little funny how all of their friends do that. So is that part of like, and I, but, and I, we, but we know that, but is that the goal? Is that friendship goals? No, no, no. You got to handle things as a grown woman. You got to handle things. And remember, like sometimes a moment you're fighting, it doesn't mean forever. So do you really need somebody mouthing off? Yeah, I don't know. So, so I went on I to, I, I Googled it. I Googled friendship goals using the Urban Dictionary because obviously Webster's not going to have 
definition for friendship goals. So I'm going to read it to you. It's a little, it's a little long, but bear with me. Okay. Friendship goes beyond just sharing time together and it is long lasting. Who you value above other friends in your life, someone you have fun with, someone you trust and someone in whom you confide. The first person you call when you get good news or want to vent your deepest feelings inside. You will have disagreements, you will want different things and you will fight. You are two distinct people with lives that are constantly molding you into different people. It involves compromise, trust and mutual growth that allows certain friends to last through decades and incredible life changes. Keeping in touch and maintaining a friendship was easy to achieve when both of you were in the same school and had no real responsibilities. Then it becomes a serious investment when life begins to insert itself between the two of you and attempt to pry you apart. Friends means being willing to learn and adapt, to understand that you cannot control this person or make them be who you want them to be, that you love them precisely because they are their own. I didn't see nothing in that de definition about fighting your, your, fighting your battles. Why would you want that though? Why would you want somebody fighting your battles? There are people in this like this ride or die, go hard, but you know, ride or die deriv like, derivative of look, we ride, we we rolling through this and shit, we get into something together, we going down together. That's ride or die. No, 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 I get that. I get that. Like, like I, I get that. definition, I'm, but that's Bonnie and Clyde. That's ride or die. Yeah, no, no, we going no, together or we dying together. Which is it? You know what I mean? I know you got questions. We already discussed this. I feel like I'm ride or die. You said you got questions. We discussed this to, uh, don't even get me I this. Haven't change, I haven't changed my mind. I know you okay. haven't. So, but, but at the same time, you got to be a grown woman about it. I, I think, I think, I think the thing about our friendship that for me is friendship goals is the fact that, um, if I'm arguing with somebody, I'm telling you about it. You're like, yeah, but what about you? How did you handle that? How'd you said that? Cause I know what you, you mean? You're, like if I'm telling you a situation, I'm fighting with this bitch and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But how did you say that? Marissa, what were your actions? You're going to call me on my stuff privately. You're not going to like, you know, like get all on, on in public and you know, blab about town with the whole like, yeah, they're arguing. This bitch is stupid. But at the same time, Marissa, yes, X, Y, and Z. Like, it's just, I don't, I don't know. Like, well, I'll, I'm, I'll speak full disclosure. If you're using, you're, are you saying that I'm going to say that, me, Tamika, or just in general? You, Tamika, to me, you'll call me on my shit. You'll, you'll say to me, like, I, I, why I think, are you arguing with this bitch in the middle of a parking lot? You stupid. You got kids in the car. Like, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Like, if I, ever, I don't think I've ever said anything like that. I think if I've ever questioned um, you about anything, it's usually like, you know this about me. Like, I will, like, as much as you ask a question of a question, like, if right. I ask you a question, like, what do you want to get to dinner? What do you want to get to di for dinner? Oh, yeah. If you ask me, um, it's like, do you want to, do you want to go out to eat? I don't know. What do you think? I won't ask you the same question. I'll ask it in a different way because I really don't want to be, I don't want, I, it's just, I just, I'm out of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's my way of dealing with, and that's just like with anybody in life, friends, family, no. like. I, I know you believe that, but no. For, the I, most, I know. for situations that I really don't want to have to, yeah, I'm not saying that I always do that, but I'm just saying oh, yeah, in general. Yeah, for, for the, yeah, in general. I don't really want to be dealing with that shit. I'll just be like kind of flip it in a way. And I just, and, and you know that I do that because you'd be like, no, but no, but I'm serious. Tell me, tell me, but I'm serious. I'm like, I don't know. You figure it out. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? No, but we're, I thought we were talking about in the context of an argument. But even, in a context of argument, I think I do that. But you don't really have, or, like say, no. okay, I'm, I'm not going to spill any beans or anything like that. But say you have an argument with your boo and you come to me as a friend does, the normal mm -hmm. situation. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna be. I'm not the friend that's gonna be like, yeah, fuck him, because I know at the end no. of the day, yeah, you don't do that. I'm the one that's gonna be fucked because you're gonna be like, this bitch told no. me to fuck him. So I have no. to be. I have to be like, well, well what? It, you know, you have guys have to figure it out and just. No, but did you hear what I said originally? When what? it comes to like, like if if I like like if I'm coming to you with the whole like, um, this bitch and stop and shop, blah 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 blah. You're like, but what ha happened? And I'm like, well her cart was in front of me, whatever it is. And you're like, but what, how did you react? How did you say this? Because you're, you're very good at like, I definitely but do that. I, you definitely do that. 
but and that's what I originally said but um I'm also you also know me that I'm not very like um I'm really not confrontational I'm not um staticky so when something when I'm coming to you on something like that it's more like the hell kind of day are you having but like you said also like let's say I am coming to you like a discussion with the boo the boo thing over here um you'll you'll listen you'll let me vent you'll do all that and you're like damn well you guys gotta figure it out and that's it you know what i mean but like you, exactly you're like i'm taking none of this heat i am taking nope but is that oh, man. is that is that the mark of like is that truly being is that really i shouldn't say a good friend because at the end of the day everybody has their own in the context and definition to the friendship that you and I have, absolutely. Why would you want somebody, for me, yes, because why would you want somebody to add static to an argument that you're having? You know what I mean? You want, you want things to be, you want a healthy and happy life. You want to be but able to don't grow. Don't want people to agree with them too? I think in the midst of an art of like their frustration, yeah, girl, you're right. Who doesn't like that? Who doesn't like that? True. That's some fucked up shit. True. <laughs> Who doesn't like to feel that? But when you do that too. That. No, no, there are times when you do that too. I feel like you could feel when I need that. You're like, fuck that. He ain't right. He ain't <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. Start from the beginning. Where were you sitting? What were you wearing? Who said what? What were you eating? <laughs> you know what? But see, I don't do that. I don't do the details because I, I, I really don't care details. about the details. You do the details. The one thing that I also, you do, you always go into. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, like, I need details. I need the whole picture. The other thing that I'll do too is like, I'll reserve that, that rah-rah for another day. So I'll be like, remember that time? When so and so did whatever, that motherfucker was wrong. I'm just saying, like, I, so I'm gonna get it out. It's just my <laughs> in that moment. You're not at you. You're not adding static, and that's. I think that's it's a really good moment. thing. To the moment. Yeah, in the moment. But yeah, yeah. Let's reserve that. We still have to shit talk. Human. So so now going back to the Larsa Kardashian friends, and and I'm only using them because they're their friends are just very high profile and always going for bad for them on social media. Is it, is it a goal? Like everybody wants to feel like we just discussed, like, yeah, like you're right. I agree. I'm with you. I'm on your side. Is that a goal in life? Even on like social media, like in front of other people to let that be known. Like I'm riding with this one. This one is right. And you was wrong. <laughs> This, this is where I kind of have like a catch 22 with that whole, with the whole thing. So they want to be in the limelight. They want to be famous, right? They want to, they want to be all of that. And, but then they don't want to have a private life, but then I, it's such a hard catch 22. You want to deal with things privately. Your cipher needs to be on the same page with you. But I think, I think the vibe of the cipher is more like, you can say that on social media, I can't, cause then I'll look like the bad person. So I feel like it's almost like the cipher and the way, the energy that they have their friendships with each other. It's more like, you gonna be in this circle, you gonna get all these like free things that we all getting. Um, I'm fighting with this one, what you gonna say on Twitter? Well, they'll now relate that to regular people. Cause say, say, say you, okay, use this as an example. Say you go to a club, right? With your friend or a bar or a big room people, you go out for sushi, okay? <laughs> and you see somebody that you have beef with, right? And the person comes over, and, but, but it's beef, it's, it's like a, it's like a Laura Ingalls, Nellie Olsen type of beef like friend of me type of beat like hey how you doing but y'all can't stand each other and everybody knows that mm -hmm. is it up to the friend to also take on that i can't stand that mofo too or do they just be like i'm out okay. of it so i'm oh. like the friend knows that person too it, it's it's a case is by that case the kind of goal that you have in life it's a is case by goal? case 
it's a case by case scenario. I feel like. No, that's the situation I'm presenting. That's the case that I'm presenting in front of you right now. It's the you're at a sushi. You're at a sushi it's bar. You're having drinks. You're with your friend. Another mutual friend comes in who you are frenemies with, but they're just, you know, and y'all have this thing going back and forth. Does your, does your friend that you're closer with, is it, is it, do you feel some kind of way if they're like, hey, good to see you hugging. Everything is cool. Kumbaya. Oh, oh, okay. So my friend is not an acquaintance. Like we're all friends. I just right. got something with this chick. But, but you're you know, closer it, to this friend what, that you're there originally with. But then what kind of friend am I am that I'm like, listen, listen, while, while, while I feel like, listen, your shit is my shit. My shit is your shit. This is the contract that we have. I also feel like I should not put certain things upon someone else. If you don't have a problem with somebody and this person hasn't done something particular, because I know not everybody gets along. Sometimes your energies just don't gel. So if it's something like that where you're just not gelling, you don't vibe, like sometimes someone, you take something, you receive somebody's words as like just snarky. It's not fair for me to put that on somebody else. But like if this chick, like, I don't know, smacked my kid for no reason, I don't know, or or like it's a whole different. I'm not talking about like violent, nothing like that. Y'all just I don't, I don't, I have, I as an adult, I don't have a situation. Like I'm just trying to think of like an example of like this bitch did something dirty. She, you better have a problem with her. No, I I'm don't. I can't talking, even. Yeah, I'm not even talking dirty. I'm just so then no. Like y'all just have a different no. opinion. No, who? What? Then what, what kind of friend does that make me that I'm pushing that on you? That's just bad. That's just like not being a good person that's not being a good friend what kind of friendship goal am i you don't have a problem with them i just i'm not feeling them and i'm making it your problem now that's not cool that's putting something on somebody that they don't need i think i think in in um in when when you give it when you give it thought it's like yeah that's wrong like if you give anything thought you can come to determination whether it's right or wrong but i yeah. think the moment it's a different story. You know Listen, I mean? it's human I, nature. I, I've been, I've been in situations where I'm like, whether it's with you or one of my other friends, family, whatever, um, especially family, where I've been in situations like, why are you fucking with this person? Why are you even speaking to them? I don't even, like, I'm thinking that in my head. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, that person don't have no beef, but they don't have, my friend and the quote unquote mutual friend don't have beef together. They, they cool but I have beef with the other friend and the friend that I came with knows or the family member or whatever. There's something that no matter if you're 22 or 42, there's something like, yo, regardless. That's okay. I think it's okay to have those feelings. I think it's okay to even be like, I don't even know why you fuck with her. And then you keep moving with your conversation. I think that's okay. I think it's human nature. I, I'm not evolved that much to be that mature. I ain't trying but to, the, like, that's not goals for me. But no, but at the same time, but at the same time, to push that on somebody else is not right. It, listen, I'm an adult. I might look at you and be like, ew, I don't even know why you fuck with her. Hand me, hand me that menu. Let me see the drink menu. And you keep moving forward. I think it's fine. I think it's okay. I think it's, it's just, it's just an innate reaction perhaps I think it's human nature to react that way but to put something like a definition like I got a problem with her you better have a problem with her when there has been no concrete scenario or situation no it's uh, you if you got a problem with me see this is why I will not ever commit to ride or die because and that goes for anybody like I I like I've said before like I have family members who is like you sitting with them you're like, what the fuck? Why are you even giving this person? But this they didn't do anything to you. You just no, don't but, like but, them. But they know, no, but they, if they know, it might not have been something like they beat me up or, or we had, or, but it's just, it's like a, you know, when you don't like somebody, it's like, it could be their politics. It could just be something they, they said that was fucked up, you know, where they didn't think it was wrong. Like, like the guy, like you, I didn't think about it until later but remember years ago i had the house party and that guy he was like um tamika turn on the light Can't, like that shit because he could so, or smile or something like that so i could see where oh, you're I at can see oh yeah. what it asks yeah so at the time i you know i'm used to that type of shit people like i get that shit from my own family so but you was not feeling that you know what i mean 
So what yes. I'm saying is that it doesn't necessarily have to be something hard and concrete and just be a feeling that a person gives you. It's like, I don't like that motherfucker. I don't want them around me. I don't know why you fucking with them. You fucking with them. You're not fucking with me. Is that right to do that to somebody else though? It's not, but friendship goals aren't about right or wrong. It's a goal. It's something that you want for your life. It's right. If it's for you, you. want a friend, you want a friend, you want to be that type of friend though. You want to turn to somebody and be like, you can't fuck with them because I just don't like their energy. I don't like the way they look. Their pants is fucked up. I don't like the hem of their pants. So you can't that's, be friends with them. That's you want to be I'm talking about person? things that they say that aren't necessary. I'm not talking about like, because they wear yeah. high waters. They wear but, high waters. But, but, these are all, them, but see, that's what I'm saying. But this is what you're talking about. You're saying, you're high saying it wasn't. Smile so you can see this. There's connotations in that. There's things that people... I I know, and I had a problem with that person. I don't right. like that person, and I never will. But I never made it a point to say to you that person's fucked up. You can't be friends with them. No, but you would definitely be the type of person to be like, every time that person came up, oh that motherfucker, I can't. Like you were always absolutely. Sleep. I said, and I said, but it's how is that any that. different than like like slowly creeping in your head? Like don't fuck with that. That motherfucker just made a racist comment about you. But Again. all right, go ahead, be your be friends. That's just as bad. Because you're making it seem like it's the... It's oh, fucking well. No. That's what you get. That's what you get when you're friends with me. That's what you get. Now oh, you well. Flipped it. What? Now you don't flip it. Now you see what I'm saying. You can say something without saying it. Oh, well. I'm not a... I'm still a work in progress. I don't care. No, it's... But see, that's the thing. But it's not... You're not putting concrete... Um, ultimatums, ultimatums, ultimatums. Well, yeah, ultimatums. Uh, ultimatums, uh, they don't, uh, bleh, you're not okay. putting that on somebody else. Right. You know what I mean? But I can say whatever quip that I want to for however many times. And see, that's being, slick. To, that's being slick. Like I wouldn't, it wouldn't be, it would, I wouldn't put it past the card. That, you think that, that, Kim or Chloe, whatever, told Larsa, post this. They yeah, probably, probably. I don't believe like, that. They probably like that fucking bitch and crying and making it seem like it really hurt me. And then, oh my God, she's been such a good friend to me. Let me post what did she pissed off Chloe. Like tugging on the harsh room. Like without actually saying, fuck that bitch. You actually, because remember, remember, like just going back to this, this, this whole situation with them. Remember, Kylie didn't immediately stop being friends with her. I guarantee you, they wore her down. Like, she ain't shit. Well, well, go ahead, be friends with her. But, you know, she don't, you can't trust her. She can't, you know, that kind of, people that do that, that's just as bad as being like, you can't, I don't want you to speak to her. It's just, a, it's, a, it's a clever way of doing it. And you're a very clever person. Bitch, you about to get smacked. You are clever though, but no, you are clever. But there, and I'm clever too, because I there have been people that you are friends with where I'd be like, I'd constantly be like, oh, Cocor, you know, like, and I'm no, no, you flat out. I'm sorry, I should, I should, I should, you uh, flat out. You're like, don't invite me. You going out and she going, don't invite me. Yeah, but I didn't say you can't go, but that's my way of, that's the same way that you're like, bitch, you riding, we riding. I'm going where you're going, you going where I'm going. But, yeah, but what I'm saying, but that even saying with me saying that, that's the same. It's a there's a delineation, a thin line right. between saying you can't go as opposed to I ain't going when you know you want to fuck with me. So if I'm not going, you're basically saying you can't go. It's crazy because it's like we've had these exact like we're we're giving concrete examples to each other. Perhaps other people listening don't know exactly what we're talking about, but, but it's so crazy because one of the, one of the things, one of the things that's so fantastic is that like, um, that you do is just like, and here is why X, Y, and Z. So this cold core, I just saw her doing X and I just thought, I ain't fucking up my life. <laughs> you can, I'm not saying you can't go out with her. Don't invite me. And you're and like, Oh point. shit. That, and that's my point. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Kardashians did that without, yeah. it's, a, it's a way of saying you can't fuck with them, but yeah. making it known, like, look, by fucking with them, that means you're not fucking with me. So you, the choice is yours. You can get with this or you can get, you with, can that. get with that. 
<laughs> and that's kind of whack. <laughs> exactly. So that's what, and when we say cold cores, let's be clear, this is not, this is early, this is a very long time, 20 years ago. Early 2000s. 15 years ago, something like that. Well, a very this long is, time ago. This is a now, that's what I call music for. Right. They're, like, I don't fuck with people that do coke or drugs or anything like that. We not. Marissa ended up realizing where the bread was buttered. <laughs> Without me telling her. Bitch. I, bitch, stop fucking with them. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so, so funny. So, so and now in terms of, now we just broke down, in a, in a way we broke down what, when it comes to friendship goals, what we're not going to stand for and how we go about expressing what we're not going to stand for what yeah. will you accept in a friendship or what must you accept in a friendship like what do you believe has to has to be key for a, in friendship? a friendship to strive thrive oh my goodness that's such a hard thing to like to to put to our, it's for me it's hard to articulate um because the depth and breadth of our friendship is so long so i can't whittle it down to to a paragraph Talk about our friendship you have other friends you know there's other relationships that you've formed that and it doesn't like this this show is but see the problem is here's the problem like there's levels to this shit you know what i mean and and the problem with me is that so there's like the tamika and then you know everybody else and unfortunately i'm just learning that the people that I put on the acquaintance might be a friend and I'm still like I don't know if they're my friend or not I just have too and many I, deal breakers I have to get on you with this because you you always like to put people as an acquaintance I'm like bitch they're yeah. your friend like, I know I know so I'm just trying to think maybe you know what I just want somebody that we have the core shared values and I would say maybe three shared values would be um openness Right. And what I mean by that is like, yeah, describe that. What I mean by openness is like, everything isn't for everybody. So we religion, right? We don't have to have the same religion. We don't have to have the same political views. We don't have to have the same definition of a family. I happen to be married to a man and I happen to have children. By not having that, does it mean I'm not progressing? You know what I mean? So having those three core values of openness, any way you consider a family is a family, period, for me. Any, any God you pray to or not pray to is fine. Um, any political views you have, fine. But as far as like when people call out with the, you're wrong, you don't know, you're a sheep, you're this, you're that, once people start doing those hard definitions, that's where I feel like I have a problem and the openness is not there. So it's hard to be friends. So I need openness. I need a certain level of kindness. I can't be around somebody who I feel uneasy with, meaning like they're constantly, I like talking shit, don't get me wrong, but the constant like, oh, did you see homegirl? Oh, she gained some weight. Meanwhile, you're pushing 250. You know what I mean? Like. I just want somebody to be kind, open kindness. And I would probably say maybe just honest. I, I have to, I have to feel like what you're telling me is truth. And when I constantly have to whittle out, <clears throat> she said she went to India last month. All those flights was canceled. This bitch is lying. I can't deal with that. Yeah. What I, about I, you? I, yeah, I agree for the most part. Um, I definitely like honesty and trust is important to me. I'm with you with that. Like, cause I, I don't have the greatest memory, but I remember why you can't, why you couldn't do something with me. Mm -hmm. Like, Hey, do you want to get dinner? Oh no. I'm, you know, I'm meeting up with my, my, my brother. Oh, okay. Then you see them. How's your brother? Oh, I haven't seen him in months. Really? You just talk like that kind of shit. And that's it's just funny like, how, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I don't want to have to be in a friendship with someone where I'm constantly wondering if they're telling me the truth. Like, you, yeah. don't, like you don't owe me your honesty. But why lie? You don't yeah. have to, you know, I shouldn't say your honesty. You don't owe me um, 
the truth and every detail of your life. Right. I, I don't feel like going out. Okay. That's fine. Just say that. That's an answer. Yeah, like, that's an answer. So I don't like that kind of shit really that, that, like that's like high on my list, like high because my time is valuable. And now you, you know, just be, I assume your time is valuable too. be honest. Right. about that. Um, and that's just an example. Um, I need a friend, friend who has the same ideologies. Yes, you can have a different political political affiliation, um, but like I can't, I I just can't be friends like true friends. I can be acquaintances with somebody where we feel differently, but when you are the type of person that's like riding hard for something, a cause, or something that is totally against me and my ideology and what I believe in, I can't fuck with you like that. Give me an example. I don't want to really get political on here. I know you don't like to do oh, okay. that, but yeah. all, all, I, all I'll say is like, like I have no problem. I have no problem if you're Republican, Democrat, Independent. When I say to you, why are you that? And the reasons that you are that are in complete contrast with my ideology, then I'm just like, like if your reason for being something, because I, you know, you believe in pro-life and gay shouldn't be, gay shouldn't be allowed to be, to marry, you're against yeah, transgender. Yeah, that's not openness, yeah, yeah. Like you're not telling me anything about the actual, like you're telling me your ideologies. You know what I'm saying? So I can't fuck with that. I can't fuck with you. You believe that members of my family are not good enough to stand beside you and do the same shit. We can't fuck with each other. Like mm -hmm. I, I'm bringing around my barbecue when I have, you know, somebody that's transgender or gay or like, what do we, or somebody that's had an abortion. Mm -hmm. Like I, I can't bring you around. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if yeah. you tell me that I believe that money should be allocated, big business and money and things like that. And um, where, where, where uh where socialism and things like that and i don't believe in those particular particular things when it comes to money and finances and where um where support should be given and, and taken away and and even guns and things like that if in and in uh, amendments and things like that in the constitution those specific things if we disagree on those things that's fine but when you start getting into like the the personal shit, no, we can't fuck with each other. So that that to me, when I speak about ideology, that's that's what I'm kind of kind of speaking about. And I just I can't fuck with you. I really, and you find out real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do. I feel like I find out real quick because I'd be like I'm very quiet initially. And then after two or three times when you're with the, even, the, yeah, the second time or so, they're like, oh, Tanika, she's so cool. And then, you know, they start speaking reckless. Like, Ooh. Lord. <laughs> Remember yeah. that time he was in the car and the mofo was talking about, um, like, hating on Spanish people? Yep. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, that, that's the, so that's an ideology. That's not is a it, political thing. It's just like you feel a certain way about Spanish people. Like, I can't fuck with, like, what are you doing? I had an ex, and it was very hard because he would be up in your home talking about Spics, and I'm like, oh, my God. And where is he at now? At some point, you just look, be like, like, yes, I could, it's easy to say, like, I'm going to dump him right away after that. But it's like, you got to come to that, like, you know what, I, just, I can't, I can't do it. Yeah. Even after you have a conversation with somebody and call them on their shit and they're like, oh, well, it's like, all right, well, there you go. So those two, the honest, the honesty, ideology, and I need a friend who, who is, who like, com like compassion. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like. Like during this quarantine time, you kind of realizing who your real friends are, like who really gives a fuck about you. You know, I had one of my friends call, like, call, check in with me today. 
you know what I mean? Uh, friends during, the, like, just, hey, just seeing how you're doing, how, how you're holding up. That means more than people could know, especially when they know what I'm doing out there. Like, I'm, they're not, like, I'm going out in these stores, you know what I mean? And to, it's like, how you doing? How's your psyche? How are you? That matters. And so when we're able to, like, socialize outside, I know who I'm fucking call. I know who I'm yeah. looking for. I know, and that goes for family too. I know, like family especially, because they know. You know, so it's like it's like one of those things. Like, you, you need to have in order to one of my friendship goals in order to fuck with me. You need to have compassion, compassion for me, compassion for yourself, and compassion for others. And so those to me are the three. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of other things, but in the hierarchy of friendship goals, that's, that's where it is for me. Yeah. What's so funny? So I feel like you exactly said what I said. That is right? not, of course you did. You said openness. Okay. Which is, f bitch, the way you fucking just said it is exactly how I said, compa you said compassion, I said open, I said kindness. You, I that, said openness. Compassion and kindness is not that we already had this discussion like a week or two ago. Did we not have a discussion about kindness? We did. We did. We did. Uh huh. You don't. Oh, and then hold on a second. I'll sip my wine. Oh, hold on yeah. a second. Okay. No, my but no, you're right. So you So you feel it. you feel we said two totally different things. I feel like we said exactly the same thing. No, I think okay. we touched on some of the same things, but I think in the long run, like you have, you're more open to to um like i think obviously i believe you're compat i think everything that i said i want everything that you said you want we both want for each other but in terms yeah. of where we put it on the hierarchy i think is different and i think that like you were we both said honesty and trust but it's it i think how we described it is a little bit different i think com compassion and kindness is a little bit different political yeah. i think is different and is it pronounced ideology or ideology? I think you could say it either way. Okay. I prefer ideology. <laughs> I prefer ideology. Yeah, well, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> but I, you have called me on some shit I've, I've mispronounced for a long time, so. You are the English major. Oh, see, now you're gonna throw some shit in my face. How, what, what did I say you wrong? You Spanish, what's your point? <laughs> that you are a lot more red than yeah, I Yeah, you said, you said, well, you are the English major, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, meaning you probably said it correctly and I probably didn't. It's like the radiator, radiator thing. I don't think radiator is right. I don't think so either. I mean, but people are out there. Radiator? A You're lot of people are out there saying radiator and they're saying it wrong for their whole life. Uh, yeah. Um, what are you doing? I, nothing. You're not paying attention to me. No, I was looking to see what time it was. I want to make it's sure that it's me. we stay on time. Oh, yes. look at you, producer. Um, yes. So, True or false? For me, I wouldn't be friends with Larsa Pis Pippin. Would you? <laughs> I came out of nowhere. What? That came out of nowhere. No, it didn't. You started this whole diatribe. I know, but we we weren't even talking about. I, okay, would I be friends with her based on who she is in social media? No. Because I'm I mean, more, I don't know her as an individual. Like, so. I'm, I, I, I'm down with people that's not trying to be like 50 years old. And I, I don't know. Let me not shame somebody. It's just, I don't know how old she, I, she probably like 30, 30 something, but it's like, she's trying to be cute. Yeah. Like, it, like I have no problem. Like, when I turn 50, I'm, I might take a bikini shot from a distance. <laughs> With a filter? Yeah. No, no I no, think no you filter. would. No filter. <laughs> no filter. You're but... holding up pretty good there, lady. 
Thanks. I think it'd be all right. But I'll take a bikini shot from, from the distance. I also don't have children. You know what I mean? They're just, yeah. they're just and then like everything don't got to be on social media. Like I post things, you know, I post things for the most part, but there, there are people that I know, we both know that post all damn day. Like yeah. pictures, pictures of their kid, everything, everything yep. they cook. Cause it used to be meals. That's one of the reasons why I started my food blog. Cause I was like, I don't need to be on here. Like, I'm out to oh, eat. Simply. I haven't even done it in for so for so long. But like everything don't need to be in social on social media. The other thing with that too is like I'm not trying to be with friends with somebody that takes a lot of work. Yeah. You know, it's just too much energy. Like now now we, you know, that's why one of the reasons why I always feel uncomfortable when we're going out and you're like, Oh, you look cute. Who are you trying to press? And I feel all awkward because I'm like, I'm, I just put on some jeans and a shirt. Well, you now, always now look it looks cute, like though. I'm trying to impress somebody and I'm really not. <laughs> I don't want to be that person because I despise those people. <laughs> but your answer is always like, me, bitch. I'm like, all right, it worked. <laughs> yeah, but, I, but that's the reason why I couldn't be friends with her or, or people like her because it's like, it's too much energy. I don't know how to put on makeup. Like, I never really learned. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My hair needs to be rebraided. I don't feel like braiding it today. Like it's just, I'm just really low maintenance. People saying that you shouldn't be wearing sweats during quarantine. Fuck that. I'm wearing sweats. You know, I put on a new pair of pajamas every day. I don't care. Oh, well. Why can't you I wear sweats wine? during this quarantine? What are you supposed to wear? Jeans? Exactly. Like I'm not trying to dress up to go where? To go to lay in my bed and watch Little House on the Prairie? To impress my couch fuck okay. out of here so yeah um so what about you would i be friends with her yeah no thank you what celebrity can you think of that you think or either celebrity or friends that you see on social media or in public national in public eye do you think you would want do you consider like friendship goals Oh, for some reason, nothing's coming to mind. I feel like nothing, Oprah and Gail, I don't know. I feel like nothing's coming, coming to mind. Just them when, I think, when, I, when I think of friendship goals, I personally, I think of, and this is going to lead us to, uh, yeah, yeah, that's coming. Um, the, the trending topic is versus. Who would we want to see battle each other that has not already battled each other? But before we get into that, um, the person that I would want to see is, is Mary J. And she got this friend, she has a friendship with this um stylist named Lisa Hilton. Oh. And I feel like to me, that's like friendship goal. They've been friends forever. Forever. I mean, yeah. they've been like I was it was the anniversary of, of Biggie's birthday a couple of days ago. <laughs> and so everybody's playing all these Biggie songs and you know, on social media and, you know, I went on my little thing watching his video, music videos, people like top five rapper and he's not one of my top five rappers. But then I watched his videos. I was like, oh, well, maybe he is. You know, you go through one of those. <laughs> yeah, things. yeah, yeah. But um, I'm looking at the videos and I see Misa and Mary in the, um, in the Big Papa video where they're sitting at the table and, you know, Biggie's in there. That's like the greatest video because there's so many cameos. Mm -hmm. All his videos had kind of, the one more chance video had a million cameos, but um, they've been friends for so long. And when they talk about each other, it's like, that's my sis. You know what I mean? And, yeah. to, and, and to know that they've been friends in spite of all of the celebrity and fame and, and drama that has come into their lives with relationships and deaths and things like that. To me, it's like, you know, that, that to me, is like a, a friendship goal that I see from from the distant. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. I don't know what it's like in real life, but yeah. To me that seems like okay, yeah, I, I I could get on board with it. Oprah and Gail, I mean I guess they're friendship goal, but it just seems to me with them, it's like Oprah's always gonna be here and Gail's gonna be they're, they're never like on equal playing field. Yeah. Like Misa is top with what she does. Mary's top with what Mary's she does. Like, 
They yeah. are in their own lanes. They don't need each other to be successful, although they work together and become successful. That's what I love about a, a, a solid female friendship where like you're both shining for each other. I love that. Right. And you're supporting each other. And it's, you know what's so funny? Like I, I said before, I'm like, I hate when people <laughs> all talking shit, but I'm about to talk shit. Because when we were thinking about like, what would you like as a versus, right? And I was thinking right. to myself like that, Erica Badu and uh, Jill Scott, that versus was a vibe. It wasn't even a verse. It was like, they were feeling each other. They did right. the stank phase. I loved it. I just loved it. Telling stories. I loved it. And I'm like trying to think of like all these artists that I liked throughout the years and things like that. And like, did you see Madonna's post? Oh God, what'd she say? I know that's your girl. Well, she was your girl. She was, yeah. She did a what um, uh, Kelly Ripple calls a backy. She took a picture of the back of her. And I said, I had said that she got her butt done when she did a, um, a carpool karaoke with James Corden and she tried okay. to twerk because she got her butt redone. And then you just saw her butt and I'm like, oh, sweetie, you still dealing with emotional issues in your body? Just like, come on. Who would you like to see Madonna do a versus with? Well, no, let's not even go there because versus, let me just say this. Every time black people get something, white people are, are plotting. Like, how are we going to, like, it's going to be Britney versus Christina Aguilera. It's yeah. going to be called hearses. Some, some shit like that. Who body? It's probably going to be like Madonna and, and like Britney and, and Christina, like all those little prop stars that are now, and right. it's going to be her against them. So I'm not even going to say Madonna because I don't even want to give that any credence. But no. who, who would, like, tonight they're doing, which I won't be listening because, you know, I hate reggae. I only like it when I'm in the club. I don't like to like listen to it on purpose. So it's Beanie Man versus Bounty Killer. And people are like, so boop, 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 boop. they're all excited and shit. That's I'm, gonna be I'm, so good. I'm, I'll pass. Um, and then on Monday, it's 112 versus Jagged Edge. That's gonna be so good. So who, if you, if you, if you thought about it, you had a few days to think about it. Who would I you, did. Who, who would you come up with? So here's, here's my problem. Here's my problem. I thought of artists that I really want to listen to, but I couldn't think of who could like, because I'm like, oh, I just love a whole vibe with this one, a whole vibe with that one. Ivy Queen and Cardi B. Right. And I'm like, it's not really like, Cardi B doesn't have the same catalog as Ivy Queen. Does she have 20 songs? Who? One album. Cardi B? Yeah. But don't she have all those mixtapes? And that's why I said she doesn't have the catalog that mm -hmm. Ivy Queen does. But then people who can like do the both, Ivy Queen and Little Kim. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Or even Ivy Queen and Foxy. See, I, I, I was thinking about Foxy in a battle, but then I'm like, I mean, Foxy might have 20 songs, especially because she's been on other people's records. A lot. She's more sensitive, though. Yeah, I can't see her doing it. She wouldn't do a vibe I can't see, There's not too many female rappers. Like, I would like to see MC Light versus Queen Latifah. That would be kind of... That would be great. That would, that be, would be great. Right? That would be kind of, like, that would be a pretty good one. That'd be great. Because they definitely got 20 long. They've been doing it since the 80s. Um... I don't know. There's just, there's so many artists, but then you start thinking about like how sensitive, and then there's artists where you're like, you want them to just battle themselves. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah. people keep saying like Mary versus Faith versus Mariah no. Carey. And like Mary shouldn't no. call either one of them. No, because it's Mariah not even in the same. by herself. Yes. Just listen. I would love to, darling, and the stories darling lamb yeah, yeah. darling she, like what you call tomorrow night Babyface is doing the waiting to exhale he's gonna play the waiting to exhale album and talk stories about behind the scenes like if That's mariah good. did that i'd be like i'm all for it like her champagne yeah. hair in a and her girl. ball guy like i just and just talking and the about babies running around in the background and monroe all doing something silly all love it. it i would love that you know love what i mean it. um yeah. I would, if I saw Mary do it, I would like her, her and Diddy to be on IG Live and they tell stories about her music. Like he, he, oh. like, like he can play the music and then talk about it or whatever. 
like that kind of sometimes when you hear this the background between yep. behind songs i kind of like as long as they don't go on forever and ever it's like all right play the song like i i saw um ashanti was on bat joe show mm -hmm. and she found out from him that the song um what's love remember yeah was what's it what's love? Love? No, 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 not no. what's love. The song that she did with Fat Joe. What was the song called? Not what's love. Um, shit. Ain't it fun? No, no. Let me Google. Yeah, Google. but anyway, so she found out. So he he went to the studio, right? And Herb Gotti played the song, and Ashanti was on it. Ashanti wasn't out yet. It is what's love. Oh, it is what's love. Yeah. Okay, so I think Ja Rule is singing the hook too. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So um, Fat Joe goes to the studio and Irv Guy's like, no, um, Jennifer Lopez is going to be on the hook. And he was like, nah, nah, nah. Like, I love her, but I want Ashanti sound right. She's singing it perfectly how I want it. And he's right. She sound like, I can't imagine anybody else singing that hook. Yeah. And Irv Guy is like, no. So Ashanti's uh, on Fat Joe's show. And Fat Joe's like, yeah, I remember Irv was like, we're going to have J-Lo sing it. And she was like, that's the first time she ever heard, all these years later. She's <sighs> like, see, I know. They, he was like, no, 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 I'm not trying to start shit. She's like, no, no, that's all right. She looks so mm -hmm. neat shit because they, that's how they used to be doing back then. But like to hear that story. And what's I'm crazy like, too, I like I, and what's crazy too, I feel like back then that Ashanti, J-Lo, like, not that they pitted themselves against each other because they were just two different, really different artists. But for some reason, lyrically, they did that. Or like they were Ashanti, they... Ashanti, she said on the show that she wrote songs to Jennifer Lopez. She would sing them first as the, yep. whatever they, like a demo, demo. Yeah. And yeah. then Lilo would sing over it. But the problem is that they would keep parts of Ashanti's voice. Yes. So it sounded like. And it sounded really good. Yeah. So and here we are today. Right, exactly. 20 years later. So, so when it comes to verses, I, I like the idea of you know, the artist getting on there and kind of telling stories. Like yeah. when Babyface and Teddy Riley did it the second time. Yeah. It was cool, you know, when they tell a little bit behind the scenes and especially yeah. Babyface, because he would do a little shade and then he'd like throw on Michael Jackson. You know <laughs> what I mean? So it, it, was, it was cool. Anybody else? Deborah Cox. Versus. But, well, here, here's my problem. Cause I'm like, I feel like Deborah Cox is an extremely underrated artist. Mm -hmm. And I want a vibe, not a versus with Tony Braxton. I could see. But I also, right? But I don't know right. if Deborah Cox has enough catalog. That's, that's the problem. You got like so three can, or four songs? But can we, can we do like a vibe session where like um, <clears throat> Deborah Cox, uh, Tony Braxton, maybe maybe like throw in um like a like a jasmine um i don't know yeah but it's only two people you can't i know i know but this is my wish list so wait i have one more i have one more um all right i don't have a versus for this one i just want to hear this bitch talking all the time gladys knight from the pips days nothing new nothing in the last 20 years Gladys no, Knight come in the 20 years she had some stuff okay nothing in the last 10 years okay yeah 10 years ago 15 um so Gladys Knight from the pimps I want stories I want with like real with shit the with the pips you Gladys Knight with the pimps. pimps with the pips it's with her so pimp <laughs> Gladys Knight with her pimps <laughs> no with the pips I want stories I want shade I want did you know I want one of something like that be like Gladys Knight versus Diana Ross. <gasps> Diana Ross ain't getting up there. She ain't doing it. He's not versing nobody. No. Or me, what about Shaka Khan? See, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan versus Gladys Knight because Shaka got a catalog. Sh no, Shaka got to be by herself. She another one. Can you imagine her like, yeah? Oh my God, I love it. She gotta be by. See, I, now I forgot she's on the Waiting to Exhale soundtrack too. Babyface maybe have a story about her because I can only imagine her energy's got to be like off, but on. What about Tina Turner? No, I'm not. I, I I'm not really a Tina Turner fan. 
Like I know her song. Like, are you a fan if just because you know somebody's song? And you know all you the just words? maybe you just like like some you know just, it's like back in the day they used to play these songs everywhere and, and they're, they're just in your head. And now you can't go to the supermarket without hearing certain songs. It's like it's still you know they play over the over the system, and you're like yeah. shopping for bread, and you're like through the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I don't want to be with you. Where's right? the rice? <laughs> exactly. It's just too, it's too much. You can't escape it sometimes. I mean, you go in a doctor's office. Well, when we used to go back in doctor's offices, you know, now you meet in most about- lots and tele tele connecting. <sighs> what about you? I want to hear your list. I thought I just gave them to you. Oh, didn't I? Maybe I did. I felt like I was talking the whole time. No, no. I well, I I'm looking forward to the 112. I definitely mm-hmm. want to be, see. That'll be good. I'm a fan of it. I mean, Jacket Edge is cool, but I just I was all about 112. Um, in terms of hip hop, I would like to see like Drake versus LL Cool J. I feel like they on they're the same but on different eras. Like how? Ooh, cool you're trying to get the whole family together. That's you know, amazing. Like Drake versus LL. Like that would be amazing. Can you imagine? Like you don't know nothing about this, Dad. Right. Listen to this one. You don't know nothing about this. Oh my God! That like, would can be you amazing. imagine the verses on that? Like, like um, Jingling Baby. You know, baby. Versus. You need to take this five. clip and send it to LL and Drake. Yeah, they, that they, needs to happen. And then I, I, I would like to see. Like and but they already said they're not gonna do it. Um, Missy Elliott versus Busta Rhymes. That would have been. But Why they're not? like they're like nah. We we're brother and sister. We're too much alike. But they're they're right. It's not that creative to think of them. Because but do it together. Do it a vibe. Do a vibe. No, it's not called a vibe. It's called verses. But Erica Badu was a vibe, not a they verses. Made it, they made it a vibe, but it was still verses. They made it a vibe with their pussy incense and candy. <laughs> would you would you want to listen to a Lauren Hill or is that bitch gotta be by herself? Well, first of all, what time is it? Is she showing? <laughs> we need to schedule that at nine in the morning. Yeah, but I would I would like to see Lauren Hill, but she. That disrespectful bitch. I'm sorry. I just had a ver- visceral reaction to her. She's so goddamn disrespectful. She, oh she my god. Crazy. But then when she got on stage, we were jumping. We, were, we ain't leaving. We're like, I, we'll stay for one song. Two in the morning. We're like, oh. Crazy. And then she, the though. opening grew oh, just bad. But, you know, when she started doing her hits, I was just like, damn. That, oh, all right. That, you know, all of a sudden, you're, you're feeling it. You're like, all right, I'm in that thing. Okay. Right. <laughs> But I don't think she has enough records. I mean, no. she's got the Fuji records and she's got her solo album. But in terms of she 20, needs, I mean, she, she needs to do five though. Education. What? She if she could just do that uh, miseducation on a live, that'd be yeah. amazing. Yeah. Give the people what they need. I know. Ah, it's great. And maybe she'll do it on time if she ain't got to go nowhere. She'll record it and post it, right? Do that. Yeah, I would, I would, I would, I might listen. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, I, I definitely would like to see LL Drake. Um, that would be amazing. And then, like, when you think about producers, you know, I, w- I would like to see, like, Diddy versus Dre. You know, Dr. Dre, uh, like the, the songs they did. Like, I like the producer thing because it's such a, it's usually diverse. Yeah. You know, it runs the gamut. That's what I liked about the Babyface versus Teddy Riley. They wasn't necessarily playing their songs. Yeah. Playing, I mean, of, of course they played their music, but yeah. to play other artists. I kind of, kind of like that. Um, you know, so some of the things. We'll see what, what the next few weeks hold and, you know, check it out. Check it out. Anyway, good show. Good show. Check out my shirt. Men, fish, women actually catch. My dearly departed aunt gave me that. Rest in peace, Mm. auntie. 
She was a, she liked the fish. Um, she liked to catch. She liked to catch. True, true. <laughs> anyway, good show. Um, before we end, I want to uh, say rest in peace to all our fallen servicemen. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you for giving your lives so that we can do this damn podcast because it means so much. <laughs> but, you know, there are people that, that watch and listen and enjoy us. And Thank you to the four of you. No, we got, we got a lot. During this quarantine, people are, people are listening. You would know that if you check the stats. Check the stats, boo. Check the stats. You know I'm sensitive. I can't be looking at stuff like that. My oh, emotional my health is... My emotional health is too fragile. You're fine. <laughs> um, but people are, you know, people are liking it more and, you know, watching clips and, you know, even if we pay for them to watch the clips. Advertising is, it helps, shoot. Get a couple thousand people to watch a clip, you know? Helps. Little by little. And then you notice the people that are on the website. I'm checking out What's the What's that song? Little by little, bit by bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know that song. Anyway, um, but, yeah. where can they catch us? I said it first. I said it first. Oh, Yep Yeah Yes 18 on Instagram and Twitter, the Yep Yeah Yes podcast on Facebook, and any streaming device that plays podcasts. All you have to do is say, device, please play the Yep Yeah Yes podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, add us booze. And who do you want to see in a versus? Let us know. I definitely want to know. Yeah. Have a Memorial Day, y'all. Have a Memorial Day. Peace out. And get your mental health checked out. Well, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> well, you <laughs> said to Where did that come to, from? Huh? You said to the fallen, fallen service people, and, you know, sometimes people come back and, you know, they don't feel so great. Oh, okay. The yeah, sacrifice. Get, get mental health awareness. And what's up with, like, if I don't vote for, for Biden, I'm um, not black, but I was, but on the, I'm going to say this, on the same tone, it seemed like more white people are offended than black people. Black people was like, yeah, okay. White people's like, that is why he needs not to be president. He's so insensitive. Do you it, know why? You know why? Here's the problem. When you tell Karen that she can't speak to a manager, she gets very widely offended. Yes. When you tell Maria she can't speak to a manager, that's the shit she's been told her whole life. Exactly. So it's just another Tuesday. Nail on the button, homie. And for that, that, that is friendship goals. That's why I'm friends with you. The same ideology slash ideology. That is why. Because you understand Karen versus, what is Maria. it? Maria. Maria. Maria versus Laquita, okay? <laughs> versus Barbara, okay? Barbara. Although Barbara could be anybody. Gertrude. <laughs> so could Gertrude. I know, but I'm just saying, like, there's a very- there's I have to damage. tell you, I, I, there, I, have, I have never met a Barbara I didn't like for some reason. True. There's something, and every ethnicity is a different Barbara. There's Barbara, there's Barbara, there's Barbara. I never it's heard all, of them. It's all you different vibes. Spanish accent. I can't stand you right now. There's Deborah and there's Deborah. Okay. Stop. Um, I can't. Okay. Anyway. All right, y'all. We out. Bye. Oh.